Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss the ranking of all Tales of Vesperia heroes. But before that, if you want updated XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, so we're going to have a small discussion and ranking of all um, Tales of Vesperia heroes. But there are a few things to note, okay? So this is going to be a lim limited event, so the banner dropped around a few hours ago. So no guarantee that you'll get extra copies after the event finishes. So limited copies as well, um, except for Flynn. Flynn is actually guaranteed one copy because we're going to get him uh, for the seven day login event with Leafy. And you can get him as a reward for the for the core raid that's happening as well right now. So these three have no guarantees for Fate Core. And will have no guarantees again for core memory. That is why um, they will have fewer stats. They are of fated variety, actually, as a as heroes. So um, they probably won't be meta enough uh, without their FC. We're not sure, but I'm actually betting on one character that can be meta. So later I'll discuss that in my rankings. So if ever they have XC, most likely they will come with a hero. So again, um, if you're if you don't choose to summon for them now during this event, if they're going to put out their fate course, they're going to be attached to a hero anyway. So if you'd like to reserve your sets for that event uh, for their fate core, then be my guest. But if you really want these heroes, you can actually summon for them, depending again on you know on the capacity for zest and how you like these characters or how you like tales of vesperia heroes okay so again the this is only my my opinion based on my ranking okay so as aside from that their stats will be harder to increase without their fate course so um without core memory without fate core stats will be harder to increase but one thing to note, they are solid heroes, especially in PvE, if you're going to use them in PvE, okay? But if you ever want to summon for them, whether you are a fan or of, of, of Tales of Vesperia or not, and if you just want them from your team, you should hear me out first. Again, may I remind you guys, this is just my own opinion in terms of my ranking and how valuable they are in the current meta or the current game. Okay, we have here Flynn at number three in terms of their ranking. Flynn will be at number three because um, he is actually um, he is actually not of a general level, um, and uh, Flynn would be the easiest to get. Actually, so we'll go through his skills. Um, in terms of his passive, okay, I'll I'll go through this um, uh, one at a time. So he has Protect 3, which grants share health to an ally. Okay, so this ability actually is similar to what Garf has already. Considering that he is also of Light Element, so similar to Garf, this actually is a redundancy of what Garf can do already. Okay, so his other, his other passive is HP Relax, so heals for 2% of own health at the start of, of turn other than own turn so this actually the two percent if i actually did i did a computation um um just imagine that your 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 total health is around forty thousand for for one hero so ten percent of that is what four thousand and two percent of that would be around eight hundred so basically that is the only gain that you get per per turn aside from his own turn so basically that that's very small okay so that's very small for for a great passive and his other passive is life rebirth if you if if under the effect of command heals 30 percent of damage taken when receiving damage okay this is actually a good passive but they actually had a have a qualifier here that uh, that flynn should be under command or 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 the command mark Okay, so this actually puts it down. I think they should have reversed this to HP Relax and Life Revert. So command should have been, you know, based on based on HP Relax and Life Revert should have been 
a standalone skill without any qualifiers. So that is why um, if you don't have Garf built up, if you don't have Wasted Red as a as your main uh, nation, this really won't you know won't be it for you. So more or less, his passive will be useless to you if you don't carry Wasted Red as your main faction of uh, faction or as um you know the, the one that you're concentrating on building together okay let's go to his s1 so his s1 is deals 300 percent damage to one enemy it's blazing pillar smash so only requires ma one mana so it's a good spell it's a good s1 it's actually common as well nothing unique about it and his s2 is radiant dragon fang so required mana is three so deals 262 damage to one enemy a flex target with stun for five turns okay this should have been better if the, this was an aoe spell there are other there are better heroes right now in the game that are you know have better skills than him have better passive than him and his passive should could have been better it doesn't really make sense why they should include command in life rebirth so it should have been the regular passive and uh hp relax could have been added with command Okay, for number two, we have Yuri Lowell. Okay, so Yuri, um, based on the skills that I've seen from him, actually, sorry, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Yuri is actually Darkness, and who's the other one? And Flynn is actually of Light Element. Again, I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention that. But um, Yuri is of is of Darkness um, Element, so good if you if you lack um certain darkness heroes if you want to pull for him but if we for example go through his spells or his passive so he has basic counter three so and he has actually resurrect if under the command effect as well so again it's again based on wasted red so if you're a wasted red fan or if you're wasted red if you have all wasted red built up this won't be a problem for you but what if you don't have wasted red uh what if you haven't had the faction built up so this won't be for you so uh, again resurrect is if under the effect command revives 50 percent of health upon upon own death two times per battle this is actually a decent um, passive. It's actually good. It's quite annoying as well. Um, as long as uh, Yuri has um, fast skills. Uh, sorry, fast attack speed. So this will be good because as soon as he revives, he can attack again. So And also for his next passive skill, it's called Loner. So mark if there are no living allies other than self. Increase own attack, defense, and health by 50%. Cannot activate when there are no allies in team. So basically, I, I don't like loner because by the time that you're you're the only one left, you're you're probably defeated. Especially if the enemy has still three, four um, members in his team still alive. So they will really kick your butt, even if you get you you have fifty plus fifty percent attack, defense, and health. So I don't like this passive at all. So again, Resurrect could have been good if they took out the command part of it. And again, put the command probably in Loner. So probably put it down there. So again, this you know takes away the, the flexibility of this hero for this collaboration. For his S1, it's Divine Wolf. So single damage, 375% damage to one enemy. Increases own attack by 30% upon defeating the target. Okay, so good skill, good damage, and good mana as well for two mana. Um, the increase attack, um, if it doesn't say stack, it usually doesn't stack. So I think this is this is done only once. So I assume that this doesn't stack as well. So his S2 would be a Savage Wolf Fury, required mana 5, burst. So deals 357 damage to all enemies. So this is actually this his kit actually is similar to Awaken Zeon. So not necessarily the passive, but the attacks, the S1 and S2 is actually similar to it to, to Awaken Zeon. So if you want to have a comparison, if you have Awaken Zeon and him, so that's basically it. And right now we haven't used Awaken Zeon that much. 
he hasn't been used in any you know in any PvP compositions. Um, probably he's just waiting for his FC. But again, uh, there's a similarity between the two of them, and that is why um, he ranks at number two right now. Okay, for our number one ranked um, uh, Tales of Vesperia hero, it's going to be Estelle. Okay, one, you know, right now we don't know what her 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 element is. Um, I I think she is of light. Or she could be uh, nature because she's healing. Um, and also, uh, what do you call this? We don't know her nation yet as of now. But even if we don't know her nation, she actually has a very good kit for a for a fated hero. So she is actually kind of general level if you might you know say it. So for her passive, she has first aid 3. So again, grants heal. Her own passive is Angel's Tear, so revives 100% of health upon own death. So one time per battle. This is pretty much very annoying for a healer because usually we would take out healers first um, to avoid them, you know, healing their own party. But this is actually making her very annoying. And if you can take note, there are no alliances or there are no you know um dependencies on a certain mark like command so basically you could use her with any team that's actually good about her okay healing art tests um once every two rounds gain mana five mana for for self upon using sacred penance so what this says is just it adds to the mana count of her burst skill for s2 okay so before we go into that i'll go through her s1 first so it's extreme stars deals 525 damage to one enemy so um kind of kind of utility for a healer but what makes her shine actually take note is her s2 because her s2 i've checked with talia versus talia and versus april she has one of the highest per percentage of heal of own max hp of 34 percent okay take note that right now we're having already a headache with talia but if you throw in her throw her in the mix with 34 percent i think for talia it's around 20 percent or around 19 percent of own max health but for her it's actually 34 percent already and she is a and her s2 is actually a burst skill at five mana and plus her passive and this is going to be ridiculous, I tell you. She's, she can be a headache. So if you really decide to spend your zest on this banner, on this collab, she is the one that you should spend all your zest on. Okay, she, she I think, will be a game changer, especially if they decide to, to put out her Fate Core. I myself, actually, I'm thinking of pulling for her. It depends really on... If we're, we know if after her it's going to be Schmidt and Kylock, um, I might not pull for her, but I'm actually right there ready in trying to pull for her. So she is actually one one of the healers that I think is actually going to be a game changer. Um, from Talia, Talia is actually very good right now in terms of healing. Then comes Estelle. So, but without her Fate Core. I'm not sure yet if she's going to be that competitive or not. So, um, you could actually just uh, share um, Fate Core share um, other Fate Cores with her to bump up her stat. That could be a you know an option. Um, you have I've tried it with Dorka before, but I think you could also do it with her. So she has actually very good potential. I'm just talking about the first line of her S2. So for her second line it's it deals 178 damage to all enemies so again it uh, this is actually a plus already because it's already a burst kill as well sorry <laughs> sorry for that low battery um anyway um again this will just be a a add-on a add-on damage to her skill Okay, the third line is actually one of the most unique um, skills that is being placed on a healer. So it affects all enemies with provoke for five turns. So this is the first healer that we have that has provoke. Okay, so the key with her is she's going to be very tough 
to kill because of her revive. And if you make her tanky enough, she'll be very hard to kill. And she will provoke the hell out of your enemies, okay? So she will provoke everybody to attack her and the rest are free. Um, Actually, if, if um, you know... I'd, I'd like to add something. She can be she can be synergized well with FC Otard because FC Otard deals more damage for status effects. So this is actually a synergy that I'm also you know I'm also um, going to try if I do um, decide to summon for her. But again, she this is a good experiment in terms of you know merging a couple of ghoul skills so healing with provoke. She's going to be, you know, she's going to be nasty. Um, she's going to change probably some of the, some of the decks in PvP. But again, I'm on the fence right now in terms of getting her because we're not guaranteed to get her anymore, and we're, you know, we're really forced to, you know, to summon all out right now in her banner. Actually, her, her banner is going to drop next week, so we're going to be forced to summon for her all out. And I think, um, I, I, I do hope they reconsider in bringing this banner back, especially with Fate Course, because again, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to summon for Estelle, um, because I think she is actually, she actually has a good kit and she has a potential to change, again, the PvP meta uh, once this is out. Because Provoke is powerful, she's a healer, um, she has revive, and, you know, it, and her other passive healing art test is actually very good because it fuels her burst skill. So that's it. Um, what can, what more can I say? So uh, for those of you who want to summon for Tales of Vesperia, number one ranked would be Estelle. Um, the both of the guys don't you know don't match up to her to her skills to what. Um, skills they incorporated in her uh, because she can be used in any of your teams. I, I, I tell you, any of your teams. Okay, so any comments, um, write them down, put them down below if you have any thoughts on the collaboration, if um, if you want to pull for Estelle, pull for Flynn, or pull for Yuri, put them down below, put your comments. Again, guys, this is just my, you know, my opinion. And um, I hope um, I was able to help you guys and decide whether you should pull for them. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. Um, around 85% um, of my viewers haven't subscribed yet. Anyway, guys, have a fruitful weekend ahead. You all take care of yourselves. This is The Warden, and I'm out.